And okay, so before I get on with the reviews, I just want to say um, that, because I'm gonna post more than one single go, but I did buy all the products myself, so it's not a sponsored video. I'm not saying anything that I don't wanna say. That's my receipt. It's a hell of a receipt. Um, so I will get on with the reviews now, but I just wanted to just clarify that I did buy these. They are mine. Okay, let's get on with it. Hey everyone, okay, so I'm just going to give you a review and a quick demo of the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Sorry, got a little bit of an itch. There you go, this is what it looks like. It's a contouring, well, bronzing powder and a highlighting powder. The highlighting powder is a shimmering beige gold, which will look great on all skin tones regardless. The bronzing powder is definitely a bronzing powder because a lot of contouring products you think of this sort of the Kevin O'Quire contouring product, it's got that really gray undertone because contouring is to create a shadow, so it should be gray, which looks great in photos, but in real life, you're left with stripes of dirty gray, which you don't want. So this is a more neutral bronzer that can be used as a contouring or as a bronzer. If you're a woman of color, you can mix these two shades in together to apply them to the cheeks for a sort of a more neutral custom kind of glow to the cheek because the lighter your skin is the more you contour the deeper your skin tone is the more you highlight so what i'm going to do is actually show you now bear in mind for the day i really would recommend you not contouring any more past just this sort of area here you don't want to bring it all the way down because for daytime it's too much so but for the use of this tutorial i'm going to go all the way down if you can't find it where it is follow the sort of shadow when you pull your cheeks in. And let's use the contouring shade first and just, and you just want to follow the shadow just under it. And don't forget that most of the product should start right back here at the top of the ear and then come down. So you can see it right here. It's really strong because I'm doing it for tutorial based. You would then take a brush and just lightly go over that area. Another really good way of doing it is to go from the outside corner of your eye, right the way up into your temple, and then just blend up because this will give the illusion of lifting the eye and pulling it up. So just blend it right up here. It's a really nice bronzer. It's got it's matte bronzer, but there's a tiny bit of shine to it, but you don't really see it, if that makes sense. It's more visible in the pan. And that just sort of pulls the eye up because it highlights the cheek. We're gonna then take this highlighting shade, so I can show you what it looks like, and just apply it on the cheekbone area. I don't like to go any further than the outside corner of the eye regardless. And take it here, and then I just like to kind of go up to blend it up. What looks really nice sometimes is a really small amount, just, you know the arch of your eyebrow? Right sort of there. Can look really nice when the sun, when the light catches it, it can just sort of bounce it off. You can see the highlight effect. It's, it's really, really, really a good product. It's, it's gonna be probably the star product of the range. I'm putting a lot on so you can really see it. And when you sort of look straight on ahead, you should just see a tiny bit of shine. It's when you turn that it should really reflect. You can also go keep his bow, which is right there. And you can go down the bridge of your nose if you want to. If you're gonna highlight this bit above the arch, don't highlight the center of the forehead because then it'll all be shiny. And of course you can take a tiny bit of the contouring powder, the bronzer, and if you really want to, starting from the eyebrow, the center part here, the edge of the eyebrow, go right the way down and you can contour the sides of your nose as well if you really want to. It's not necessary because the highlighting bit will do it for you and then just use your brush or your fingers to blend down. And there you go. That is pretty much how to use the palette of Bronze and Glow. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.